Have you ever wondered how growing substrates can impact cannabis plant production? Well, here in this video, we're going to look at a scientific article and do some comparisons of some common growing substrates and just see how they do impact cannabis plant production. All right, welcome to this Tobacco University video. Let's get into how growing substrates impact cannabis plant production. So for, as always, here is the article, here's the citation, here's the first page, here's the link to it, where you can always find more details of the experiment. This can provide you with the highlights here. So first off, the substrate uh, composition. What are the different substrates that were looked at in this study? You're gonna see terms like PM, G30, and CC. PM stands for peat mix, G30 stands for peat mix substituted with 30% green fiber, and CC stands for pure coconut fiber. And you're also seeing the term, uh, the abbreviation, I should say DAP, and that stands for days after pollination. The pot size during experiment and CM is provided right here, and these experiments were conducted between March 4th, 2019 to April 9th, 2019, and you can see kind of the details of the cons uh, components of each of the substrates. So what's the mean or average plant height of the um, genotypes studied? So in the, detail, in the uh, details of the study, there are some more specifics provided, but here we're just looking at the substrates. This line or dotted line here represents the vegetative growth and then the generative growth. And this is usually a lot of growers call this the flowering phase. And we will notice that overall uh, the growing plant trend and plant height measured in centimeters. And we see the statistical difference here. So when we're looking at the comparison, kind of what ended up overall being the highest for plant height was the PM followed by the G30 followed by the uh, CC. And as a reminder here, uh, the PM is that peat mix, that G30 is that peat mix substituted with 30% green fiber, and that CC there is the coconut. So we could see again how that comparison occurred over the days after planting. Now, what does the actual plants look like? So this is kind of a good just general comparison here. If you looked at all the numbers, that's great. But what do the actual plants look like? Not only the plants, as we see here in the above image, but also the root structure of each. And we can see some differences here. Coconut fiber causing the greatest degree of kind of spacing out the roots, the greatest area of surface area of coverage, and the peat mix plus 30% green fiber showing a little bit more denser pockets uh, and regions there. We could see also how that impacted the plant growth here on the above portion of the plant, which growers typically most associate with. So what's the research conclusion? So we saw the data, we saw the pictures, but what did the researchers actually have to say after doing this study? They said that there was a limiting effect on the CBD and, and CBA content uh, enacted by the different substrates could not be confirmed. So that means that one substrate didn't necessarily produce any higher CBD or CBA in the plants that were studied. So it can be concluded that the use of organic green fibers to partially uh, replaced fractionated peat showed genotype specific option for consistent plant development. A comparable high biomass yield and stable cannabinoid content compared to a standard peat containing uh, standard mix there. So what does that kind of mean? Well, a lot of times when growers are changing different substrates, they're gonna wonder how that's gonna impact the plant. And this is a study here looking at specific uh, cannabinoid content, and really they concluded that there wasn't really that much of a difference there in the CBD and CBA um, content extracted from the plants. So that's important as growers when we're looking at potential cost or potential uh, for changing different substrates or if manufacturers are changing different substrates, how's that gonna impact our plant, specifically a cannabis plant? And this is a great study here that shows some information uh, in graphical form as well as the morphology of the above plant structure as well as the below plant structure so growers can get a better understanding in a controlled study of how their substrate may impact their plants.